Joining me live right now is Jim Heaney from Investigative Post. Uh, what happened on primary day really shocked a lot of people. What is the mayor trying to do now? He has a decision to make. Will it be a write-in campaign or not? Well, as, as Jeff Kelly and I reported uh, earlier today, uh, the mayor's uh, supporters uh, appears looks like with some assistance from Carl Paladino's people, or at least some of Carl's people, um, are trying to solicit uh, texts and communications from people uh, in a show of support for his candidacy. Uh, he'll then presumably use it as a pretext to say, hey, look at all these people want me to run, you know, uh, so I'm going to run. But he's really ginning up the support. This isn't a groundswell. This is an orchestrated effort to try and make it appear as though there's a, a groundswell of support for the mayor uh, staying in the race. And you're basing that on some of the text messages that you were able to actually look at? Yeah, and we've spoken with people as well. I mean, there's clearly an effort to orchestrate um, to orchestrate a response that gives the mayor the pretext of saying, I'm, I'm, I'm just responding to the demands of the people, when in fact, again, they're, they're trying to drum up support. But are there people out there besides people who work with him inside of City Hall who are in his corner? Well, it, it looks like, well, yeah, there's Carl Paladino, um, and there may be some developers. Um, I, I'm not sensing a groundswell of support among rank and file voters. This appears to be um, uh, the support that's visible right now uh, comes from his highly paid patronage employees who stand to lose their jobs and, uh, and Carl Paladino. Now, when it comes to Carl Palladino, uh, today the mayor actually put out a statement basically saying that he did not seek, nor does he want the support of Carl Palladino. Does that come as a surprise? Because many in the business community probably don't want to be aligned with Carl Palladino. Do you think that's why he's doing it? It could be. You know, we also reported today that there's been some some meetings of some pretty high pro high ranking business officials in town. Uh, the upshot is we like Byron, but we dislike Carl even more. And we don't want to have anything to do with a campaign that involves Carl Palladino. So I suspect this is Byron trying to do some damage control. But the fact of the matter is he's got Carl if he, if he likes it or not. Uh, I doubt that Carl is going to quiet down. And even if he doesn't, he's already made his support clear. I, I think Carl is probably very toxic for the mayor's campaign. Uh, and that's why he's trying to back off. But um, you know, he's been silent for five days about this as Carl has been on a little bit of a rampage on Byron's behalf. So I guess I would ask, you know, Mr. Mayor, where, where have you been for the last five days? You know, earlier in the week we saw the, uh, or actually late last week, we saw the mayor throw out the first pitch at one of the games for the Blue Jays, and there were a lot of supporters outside of Salem Field. Uh, were they supporters from within City Hall, or was it the average Joe? No, they, um, Jeff Kelly reported on Friday, there were uh, I don't know, somewhere between 10 and 15 uh, high-ranking uh, Byron Brown officials, uh, most of them making six figures, as well as uh, their relatives. Uh, it was not a spontaneous voter-driven uh, display of support. It was basically patronage employees saying, please don't fire my boss because I'll lose my job. Um, you know, there, there's there's been nothing that we can see that's authentic about uh, any show of support for the mayor. It's all staged. But there is uh, within the community, there are a lot of people who are backing India Walton. And then there are those who are saying as they begin to learn more and listen more, maybe they will want to back the mayor. What you've seen over the years, why is it that the business community, especially is saying, we've got to do something. Mayor, you must run a write-in campaign. Well, I, I don't think the business community is saying that. Carl Paladino would like them to say that. But I, I don't, Claudine, and maybe I've missed something. Have you heard any business leaders get up and say, Byron, you got to stay in the race? No, I, I have not talked to any of the business leaders, so that's what I'm wondering. Are they out there because, you know, they've worked with this administration. Uh, we've seen the development happening in the city. Do you think that they feel that they would do better with the Mayor Brown or they would do better with somebody new going forward? I, you know, I, I think that there's probably, uh, there was, there's clear, clearly some apprehension because this administration has been very friendly toward developers. 
Um, uh, this mayor doesn't say no. Uh, and the next mayor is going to have, uh, if, if India Walton prevails here in November, um, she has a different set of priorities and it's investing in the east side and the lower west side. And that's not where uh, the development community uh, has been investing their money for, for decades. But again, you know, uh, this groundswell of support, the only visible support we've seen so far has been from Byron Brown's top patronage employees and Carl Palladino. And uh, from the conversations I've had involving uh, business people, uh, they are not necessarily keen on uh, supporting a write-in campaign, partially because Carl is, uh, is involved and, and partly because, uh, you know, as is, is, is one individual uh, said in a conference call the other day, I questioned Byron Brown's judgment. He ran a lousy campaign, and now he's uh, now he and Carol are are together in this campaign. You know, th this individual I was told said I'd rather take my chances with with India Walton than ha having to deal with the mayor who deals with with Carl Palladino. Do you think uh, his message today or his statement today that you know he didn't seek Carl Palladino? Do you think that's just going to fall on deaf ears with those in the business community? Who knows? Uh, you know, I, I I think that you know there's not going to be the business community is not is not a monolith. There probably will be some people who will go along, but there's I I sense that a lot of people uh, don't want to get in the middle of that food fight. Uh, it's not in their vested interest to to put their business in the line uh, in, in what will be a very ugly, very messy campaign. Uh, and, and in which they will align themselves, if they like it or not, with not just uh, Byron Brown, but with Carl Palladino. Who knows how this is going to end up. Jim Heaney from Investigative Post, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me on.